Let's start by opening XNS interface or open any web browser and look up localhost colon 8083. The first tab will show your remote stations. You can assign one by entering its IP address and operate the RLM without a computer at the station. Hit the middle tab to look at your results through the database. Here you can filter through serial number, test type, station name, measurement date range, and then export those results to Excel. The Test Plan Builder tab is where we're going to create customized test profiles to specify how we will measure, add specification alarms, and other settings, all packaged behind the scenes for the operators. Click on the image that corresponds to your cable to create a test profile. For this example, I will test a multi-fiber to multi-fiber cable. After clicking on the image, I have a series of pages to configure my test. First, select your fiber type. Then select whether you have a hybrid assembly, meaning two different connector types on each end, or non-hybrid, meaning two of the same connectors on both sides. And at the bottom, enter the number of channels in your connector. Or if you have multiple cables in a bundle, click here. Click Setup to continue to the next tab. Here you will decide what you will test and how. Measure per connector and flip your DUT, or measure total and measure A plus B insertion loss. For return loss, measure RLA or RLB events, or RL total for the total RL window. And enable polarity to include RDP or PTM testing in your profile. Click on the ILNRL tab to continue and enter the specification alarms for your test. Enter the operating wavelengths, your DUT length, and enter the specifications for your cable. You can also manually enter the specifications on the left or pre-configure a new connector. Keep going to the next tab, Test Settings. Here you can change a whole bunch of settings including real-time display, different behaviors for failures, IL resolution, adding a reference limit, or changing the reference order. Click on the next tab over, and here you can choose to automatically print or export labels after a measurement is done. Choose a customizable PDF or Excel template. Then let's go to the last tab over, Review and Save. Here we're going to create a test plan name and then save the profile. All your test profiles will now be accessible through cable assembly or to your remote stations. Click the barcode button next to your profile and use these to quickly access profiles with a barcode scanner. Finally, let's look at the settings tab. Change system settings like display times here. Add or modify admin users. Use API calls to subscribe to a database. Pre-configure polarity types or connector specifications. Add or enforce custom fields to your test page. And customize PDF labels or Excel templates. Click on the three dots next to a default label and edit or duplicate a label. Here you can design your label by dragging and dropping all the elements into your label, including images, tables, barcodes, text, or fields directly from your measurements. If you'd like to auto-generate Excel files after each measurement, you can pre-configure them here. Start by downloading the default label, edit it in Excel, and then upload it here. Then make sure you select it in your test plan builder for that specific profile. Click the About tab to see our customer support email or to see your software version. Please contact us at support at instotsantech.com if you have any questions.